Es aquí justo. Lo hemos dejado con Garrus y Rex. Y vamos a ver a Liara. Ey, ey. Vamos a ver qué. Que nos topamos aquí. Eso es. Vale, se está. Bien. Ey, ey. Y no hacemos nada. De llenes, no podemos hacer nada. No será como. Lo sigo, ¿no? Va. Pues sí, explosivo. Ascensor. Poca, poca comunicación tenemos ¿eh? entre los tres. No cuentan nada. ¡Ojo! Ya no me esperaba nada de esto había. Ay, ay, ay. Vale, ya se han cargado ellos. No sé, no sé lo que hemos bajado, si tenemos que subir otra vez. Se ve bien todo. Sí. Más para abajo. Oh, oh. Problemas. Pero esto al final acaba explotando, ¿no? ¿Dónde está Liara? Aquí. Sony. Liara to Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Hay un Krogan. Rex, ¿sabes algo? Vale, está aquí. Nada, nada, aquí no entramos.
Bon, ça y est. Pero yo no veo a nadie, ¿eh? no sé a quién me están disparando. Vale. Que era por donde era. Pensé que era por aquí. Vale, esto no lo he hecho Hostia Vale A, X, B, I, A. A, X, B, I, X. Por abajo, ¿dónde está Liara? No me ha nada. Ah, vale. No sale el botón ni nada. Past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. I don't know. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! Where are we? I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. No, vamos a 
Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Vai, é o Beth aqui, pô. O melhor é garros. Puf. Hostia. Reason you're in my way? The same reason you're here. The Asari. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. <laughs> Charge! <sighs> I like your attitude. <laughs> Recupera. Ojo, ojo, ojo. Anda, anda. Eso por. Eso por ir de sobra. O sea, no puedo decidir ya. Que centrar primero en los Geth y después en el pago. O sea, ¿los han matado a estos? ¿Qué es este? ¿Se ha levantado? A ver si se ha levantado el tío del suelo. se han cargado los dos el cargo lo tenemos a la izquierda Here 
Here it comes. Quedarlo en la basura, ¿eh? Pillo. Vale, este es el momento que le he dicho también de pelear. Flipante, tío, es flipante. Fracasilador. Nada, nada. Nada, Vamos. 
vamos a ver. Ah, coño. Está Rex, tío. Qué mal. se levante se ha levantado se ha levantado ¿eh? no, no se ha levantado poco ese par close commander logró rescate 25 puntos the normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes they tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull just for future reference we almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes la tensión it's a coping mechanism you'll get used to it i see It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. <laughs> They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. 
No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Hello, Gavel. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. El otro preocupándose por las minas, tío. No, hombre, no. Hemos salido con vida de milagro. Vamos a ver nuestra tripulación, a ver qué están haciendo. Presley. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Pero Nihilus murió, ¿de? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Aye, aye. Okay, okay. Todos tranquilitos, eh? Why Joker get me that? I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. I want to talk about something else. Oh, I get it. It's supposed to be a surprise. Don't worry. When they pin it on my chest, I'll pretend <laughs> I had no idea it was coming. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I have to go. No, I have to see you. Mm.
A ver si está liada en el... La doctora. Va a seguir abajo. No. Está caída, ¿no? Ya te con poco caída, ¿eh? Con Garros y Rex está difícil. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get back up from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. I heard all about that. How companies would arrange accidents to expose people to element zero. There was never any proof of that. It's not what happened in my case anyway. My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The Grand Gateway to Humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. I want to know everything my crew is capable of, Lieutenant. We're out of our element here. If you say so, sir. Besides, I've got my pass squared away. Ahí está Aguilera. Tal tampoco la he visto. Y aquí está el Marco. Shepard, what can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. So long, Rex. Yes. Shepard. Está claro. Mira, agarro está aquí también. Natalie. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I didn't bring you along to admire my ship. I know why I'm here. I'll do whatever I can to help you stop Saren and drive his Geth armies back beyond the Vale. I should go. See you later. Vale. Bueno, pues 
Para buscar a Liara estará... Está arriba. Vamos a ir al puente de mando. Y vamos a ir a otro punto que nos habían dicho que teníamos que ir. Nos dan tres opciones. Y decidimos ir a buscar primero a, a Liara. Ya he sido con ello, ¿eh? Y no era para atrás. Esto que no está que nos patemos bien la Normandí. Aquí. Vale. Vamos a ver nuestro destino. Pero hemos estado. Vale. Eso es. Eso nos dijo Noveria y Ceros. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. I don't know where I'll see that. Se ve corporación al fondo de una colonia piloto en Feros para explotar las ruinas prote proteanas que cubren los dos tercios de la masa terrestre del planeta. La atmósfera está cargada de polvo y el viaje por tierra se ve impedido por montones de escombros que crean hundimientos de varias decenas de metros. Existen indicios de que Feros fue un mundo mucho más frío en el pasado. El planeta tiene dos grandes lunas, Orcan, la más lejana, y Bartet. Bueno, ¿podemos, podemos aterrizar, nos dicen que no y luego... No sé. Vamos a ver... Es el puente. Uf. Es ahí, ¿Qué es eso? Vale. Pues vamos afuera. No, aquí no. Demonios. Creo que aterrizamos directamente ya, ¿no? Me que estaba tal, ¿no? ¿Por dónde se salía aquí? Ay, me he perdido. Me he perdido. Ingeniería. Ay, me marquen quién está aquí. Rex. Ashley. Ay, de acuerdo. Y es que me estoy fijando siempre así, es por si que se congela la cama, que me ha pasado dos veces y estuvimos que ahora mismo con, la, con el tema ese. La doctora. Aquí está Liara. Bueno, ya que estamos, no vamos a preguntar. Properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. That's it. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. 
It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers, but I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau, I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes, I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the Matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess! How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Yes, that's it. Promises are again. Y es que he puesto, puesto las puertas laterales, ¿no? ¿Podemos salir aquí o qué? Vale. Vale, 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 vale. Bueno, eso es un poco curiosilla, ¿no? Mm. 